I really wanted to eliminate the redundancy of drawing. Um, I wanted a program that allows me to be able to make a change and all the drawings will be updated automatically. And this is, from what I, from what I have experienced during uh, uh, as a professional architect, a lot of drawings is um, usually there's always errors when it's done on um, different uh, kind of softwares or when you're drawing everything manually. So um, the choice for me to go for a BIM software like Archicad was a, a very natural choice as it allows me to make one change and that change will be perpetuated for all my drawings. I think in terms of other digital tools that we've also used, one of the, one of the key things we use a lot is the 360 camera because especially with, our, with a majority of our team not being in Singapore in itself, like this is an easy way for us to actually show them how the space is like, to be able to go and express it to them and then design it together through using the sharing of these kind of visualizations that will go across borders. I don't know how I would have done this practice without using Beam. That is really the honest fact. Uh, I, I really find that there is such leverage in um, having to have the model on a cloud basis, that you are able to access the model wherever you are. You are not bound to a location per se. You are able to interact with different uh, colleagues that is on at different uh, part of the world and you are able to kind of uh, get influences from their cultures and to have access to their manufacturing, uh, craftspeople and stuff like that. I, I find that this is a, a revolution for a small firm like us. Um, to think that 10 years ago we would not be able to practice like this. To think that 10 years ago working from home or working from different areas of uh, the country would not have been um, particularly accepted by clients. I think this is a time whereby young firms have it or small firms have it to their advantage.